Hey guys, I've put together a workout you can do at home using various household paraphernalia. Okay, we're gonna get you warmed up. Danny, if you just like to kind of mirror what I do, mate. Sure. It'll take your time, it'll take a while to pick it up. Just yep. ease yourself in. So just gonna march up and down, guys, nice and steady. Okay, we're now gonna raise the arms over nice and slowly. Loosen the shoulder girdle. All right, right. let's go. We go for five. One, two, three, four, five. And carry on walking. Get the arms down now. That's it. Just lift them up gently then. That's it. Get the arms going. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go back for five now, guys. So going backwards nice and steady. All right, Danny? Yep. Yeah. And one, two, three, four. Last one. Five. Geared. Back to marching. So lift the knees up slightly higher now, that's it, get your knees up, cool. yeah, keep it going guys. So we get that heart pound in, warm you up, ready for the movements we're about to be doing. Okay, and kicking the ankles, that's it, like so. Yeah, Danny, keep it going, kicking away. How are you feeling? Yeah, very great. Yeah, yeah starting to warm up, yeah. Yeah. Elbow to knee now, that's it. Oops, like elbow to opposite knee, yeah, you got it. That's it. Nice and steady. Okay, and six. Five. Not four, in sync though, mate. Three, <laughs> two, don't worry. One. And marching nice and steady. That's it. So to get you nice and warm now, guys. And then we're gonna open the chest out. Alright, then just like okay. so. Gear. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and back to marching. Gear. Alright then, and relax. Good stuff. You still with me? Yeah, just a bit. Good stuff. Okay, guys, we're going to go into a squat just to warm the legs up a little bit more. So if you'd like to put one foot to the left, one foot to the right, more or less shoulder width apart, we're going to place one hand over the other, and we're going to drop down into a squat position. You going to yeah. do these with me? Got yeah. All right, good. We're going to go for around about 15 repetitions, guys. Nice and steady. Two seconds down and two seconds up. Okay, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. See, just breathe in as you come down, out as you come up. Yeah. Five down, guys. Legs starting to burn a little? Definitely. <laughs> okay, last five, guys. Nice and low. One, two, three, four. Last one. Five, fantastic. Danny, if you'd like to go into a split stance, so put one foot in front of the other. Right leg. That's it, that's a good way to start. Come onto your toes or your back foot, so you're going like this. Okay. And then keeping the arms out, so we're gonna warm the shoulders up as well. We're gonna go down into a lunge and come up. All right, that's it, and come back up. Keeping the chest up right. Okay, so breathing in, coming down. And one, we're gonna do 10, two, three, Four, five, five more guys. One, breathe in on the way down, out as you push up. Three more, three, two, last one. One, yeah, You're good. bit of a sweat on now? Yeah, definitely. Good Dark. job, good news is, I'm gonna go with the other leg. <laughs> All right, so forward with the other leg, onto the toes of your back foot, arms up, so really working those shoulders as well. And we're gonna drop down for another set of 10. Three more guys, three, two, last one, one, and relax. We're gonna shake out the muscles. Yeah. Our little head of you there, Danny. Yeah, I think so, mate. Beat you over the line. Yeah. That's it, just relax the arms, relax the legs, really shake them out. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go into a little side lunge now to really stretch out the groin and also work the quadriceps, the fine muscles. So what we're gonna do, Danny, if you just watch this one. Sure. We're gonna go down and come back. All right. So it's literally a side step. Over it? to you now, Danny. If you're coming okay. to the center. No pressure. No pressure at all. It's all right. So you're just going to step, knee over the toes, and come to the side. That's it. Knee over the toes, come back up. Good. That's it. So your back legs, make sure you're keeping that nice and straight, Danny. Okay. So, like so. So not bending in or out, just keeping it nice and straight. Flat on the floor? Yeah, foot flat on the floor. Keeping straight. That's it. Good. Let's go from there. I'm going to go for 10 repetitions. Sure. All right. So coming over. One, two, good. 
free. Just keep that, the football stays on the floor. Keep yep. it nice and straight. Okay, Danny, we're gonna go into a side lunge. So you just watch this one. Okay. So keeping this foot on the ground, just gonna lunge out to the side, knees over the toes. So this foot should stay on the floor. Sure. And this knee goes towards the toes. You end up in this position. So coming from here to there. All right, yeah. I'll give over that to go. you, Danny. I'm gonna go for 10 each side, okay? So, so it's literally just down there, that's it. Keep nice and upright, coming back, yeah. That's it, two. Just breathe in as you come down, breathe out as you come up. Cool. How's that feel? Yeah, good. New exercise for me, so. It's a new one, yeah, it's yeah. a bit foreign territory. Don't worry, guys, you will get used to it. It's a bit of an unusual movement, but it's a grower. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's good, then. I can really feel it. All right, so we go for three more. That's it, keeping nice and upright, guys. Breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. When we get to 10, we're gonna change over. All right, then. Is that 10? I think there's one more. Oh, extra one. Cheeky one. Good man. Honest reps. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go the other, other side, side now, guys. Yet. All right, then, so if you lunge out this way for me. Coming down, nice and low. Coming back, just keep that foot as straight as you can. One foot pointing away, the other one out at a slight angle. Okay, I'm going to go for 10 repetitions this side as well. Gear down in, six more. Slight burn starting to creep in, or are you doing all right? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Hang in there, guys, a few more repetitions. You got one more? One more. Gear. We're in sync this time. Yeah. And relax. Fantastic. Okay, Dan, the first exercise I'm going to teach you is using the yard brush. Very funky. Absolutely. <laughs> now guys, no excuses. Everyone at home must have some form of brush. I hope so anyway, or a mop alternatively. So what we're going to do, Dan, I'm going to challenge your core muscles. I'm going to put you off level. I'm going to put you onto okay. one leg. So you're really going to use these muscles. They have to switch on to support and stabilize you. Otherwise, you're going to feel really off level. So standing on the right leg, we're going to brush out and brush back. Brush out and brush back. If that feels a little bit too much to you guys, you can go into the lunge and you can brush forward, bring the knee towards the floor and brush back. So that looks like this from the side. Well, those are the more daring ones. You can go for All right, Danny, so if you start with a basic one, yeah? Yep, so go into sure. the front lunge and we'll progress to the, uh, the more funkier version we have. That's it, so if you go, I'll just get the paint out of the way for you. <laughs> if you go onto your toes on the back foot. Yeah, like that. That's it, perfect, okay? So holding this in your right hand, yeah, like so. And lunge. That's it, good, and coming back. So you're gonna feel that in your lats as you pull back as well, guys. Those of you who've got a pebble driveway, you're gonna feel it a lot more as you drag those <laughs> stones back, really contract your lats. That's it, nice and low. You need Getting two ready more to for clear me, the snow. Yeah, absolutely, just in time. Last one. And relax, fantastic. We go over to the other side. Getting okay? Yeah, good. Excellent. All right, so the same again. Onto your toes, guys, and the back foot. Lunge forward, brush, and come back. Ready? All right, let's see. That's it, just keep your knee over your toes. Coming back. Yeah. That's it, just keep your head in line with the spine. Two more done. And last one. Excellent. Good job, sir. Yeah. How'd that feel? Yeah, very good, mate. Little unusual? Yeah, very unusual. Okay. I've done the lot before, but <laughs> I feel the benefit. Good man. It's about to get a bit more unusual. I'm going to put you on one leg now and see if we can try the more advanced version. I'm going to try and keep the other foot off the floor. And again, we're going to brush forward and come back. Try and not touch the floor. If you're going to overbalance, naturally put your toe down. But try and keep it off the floor as much as you can. Cool. Over to you okay. then. All right. So again, guys, we're going to go for around about six repetitions with this. All right. So going into the lunge. Oh, there we go. There you go. There Coming out. Let's take it nice and steady. Difficult movement, this one, guys. Really, really challenging. But great movement for the core and also the legs. Yeah, Dan, it's great, yeah. looking good. Three more. You're shaping up quite steadily there. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this one. And relax, fantastic. 
All right, so we change grip, change legs, and go over to the other side. That's it. And then you're gonna lunge out, brush, and come back. You missed a bit. <laughs> All right. Excellent, Dan. Let's get as low as you can. Really challenge yourself with this one, guys. Oh, yeah. Get a little bit of stretch the abs there. as well. That's it. Yeah, if you feel a little bit off level, you can just take your time to center yourself at the top of the movement and go back into it. Good, Dan. You got one more rep, didn't you? Oh, I think so. Yeah? Good. And relax. Fantastic. Good Ooh. job. So that takes care of your core and legs for the time being. Cheers. Okay, guys, holding the bar like so. I'm going to perform a squat and a raise to the front. So they come down and up to there. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, Dan? All right. I'm going to go for 10 of those. Yep. Yeah. So just put your hands out in front for me. Slight bend in the elbows. And then you're going to squat down, knees over the toes. So when you go down, you're yep. going to let the bar drop down with you. So squat down okay. with the bar down. And then coming up, extending just to there and back down. That's it. So you're going to feel it in the front of the shoulder. Yeah. And your lower body. You're more flexible than me, it seems. You get nice and low there. That's good. Little legs, mate. Little legs, eh? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Breathing in, breathing out as you come up. Just keep that weight for the heels, guys, on the way down. Where'd you feel that, Dan? Um, definitely in the front of my legs. Yeah. And starting to in my shoulders. Starting to in the shoulders as well. Good. So when you get to 10, Hand me the broomstick and I'll come up with another beautiful manoeuvre for you. <laughs> I haven't kept count. And relax. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll save you. Good yeah. job, guys. Well done. Okay, moving away from the broomstick now. If you'd like to grab yourselves a chair, we're going to do some dips to work the back of the arm. Real great movement for working his muscles here, guys, the triceps. I'm going to place one hand on the inside and march now. We're going to dip. Down, keeping nice and close to the chair. You can also do this move on the edge of your bed as well. All right, Danny, okay. let's, let's have a look at this in action. Yeah. All right, so keep that palms facing, fingers away, and you can put the weight through the palms. So palms away like that? Nope, the other way you had it right. All oh, right. There okay. you go, perfect. So fingers facing that way. All right, so dipping down and pushing up. Just put your feet down flat. Yep. There you go, that's great, perfect. So make more or less of a right angle, guys, okay? All right, breathing in, coming down. As you breathe out, push up. Good, that's it, nice and controlled. I'm gonna go for 10 repetitions on this one. And that's it then. You're very focused on this one. Got to be. <laughs> no room for error, good. Excellent, a little bit lower. There you go, really take that muscle for its full range of motion, guys. I'll make that two more, sir. Me too. Good, and last one. And relax. Fantastic. Again, guys, Enjoy keeping with the chair. That feel all right? Feels good. Very good, yeah. Good. So keeping with the chair, I'm going to place one hand on the chair, step the feet away, and we're going to extend the arm, keeping this more or less sort of semi-upright position, as it were. We're going to crunch down and then extend up. Crunch down and extend up. You're going to really feel that contraction in here in your obliques, these muscles here, which are part of the core. And you also feel it along your lats when it lengthens as you stretch up. Danny, don't hide from so me. I was hiding Yeah, yeah I see you sneaking this away there. That's a new one, eh? This is a beautiful one. All right, yeah. so hand down here. Sure. Get, yep, we're going to get a bit of load through the back of your arm as well. Side stepping out with me. Yep. I'm going to place one arm over the top, and then we're going to bring the elbow towards the knee. So you're going to crunch up to here. Literally. There you go. Perfect. That was a good first attempt. <laughs> All right. Again, guys, we're going to go for 10 repetitions for this one. That's it, really, a little hold for me at the top as well. Stretch, coming down, little squeeze, and away again, good. Yeah, that squeeze really makes a difference. Yeah, so the little hold, you really feel that around about this area here? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> good, and that's it, Again for 10 repetitions, okay? I've already done five. I know, you're getting there. <laughs> Is your arm feeling okay? Let's stay yeah. right. Ooh. Core muscles are really switching on, guys, in this motion. It's not the stablest of movements, as you can see. Excellent. All right, fantastic. Good job, well done. Gonna maybe okay, do it the other side now, eh? I would go into it the other side, so they wouldn't see you on camera. So okay. we're going to shift around this way. Lovely. And we're going to put the arm this side, and we're going to do it over here. Lovely. All right, good job. So placing the right hand down this time, guys. 
stepping away, and then we're going to stretch out and over, and then we're going to crunch the elbow towards the knee again. That's it. Just keep the neck nice and relaxed then. Hold that little crunch there, okay? Yeah, Coming down. Feel that. That's it. Hold, get, and away. You don't have to do this exercise on a chair, guys. You can do it against the wall as well. You can lean against the wall. Or a lamppost if no one's watching. That's it, Dan. A little scrunch there. Gear. Good control. Generally, yeah. people, when they try this, they really try and rush it. But do control it, especially in the downward phase as well. It's very easy to suddenly put your leg down quickly. Gear, Dan. How many more have you got? Yeah. You're in sequence with me then. And last repetition. Little hold and relax. Fantastic. Good. You glad they're over? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. No, they're really good. Felt uh, a lot of stretching down the side there. Oh, good. Which is something I've never really trained, so. Sure. Well, there you go. Now you know an exercise to, to help you out of that area. Exactly. Cool. Okay, guys, keep them with the chair. I'm just going to do some push ups. We're going to do them on an incline, so it's going to work more or less and focus on your upper chest. So if you go into this position, Danny, and keeping, now the pelvis will want to drop down, your back will want to arch, mm -hmm. but you're just going to counteract that by squeezing your abs and flicking your pelvis backwards. Okay, okay guys, so we're going to breathe in and breathe out. When you go down, Dan, you don't want your shoulder to drop any lower than your elbow. So if you drop down like this, okay. if you drop any further like that, guys, that's too low. It's going to be nice and in line, so a nice right angle. Sure. Over to yeah. you, sir. All right. So one hand there, one hand there. That's it, stepping that back. About the right angle. Yeah, that's a good angle, yeah. Keeping nice alignment, so the head's nice and in line with the spine. And we're going to breathe in, come down. That's it, that's fine. And push up. You've definitely got 10 repetitions in your ear, Dan. You look, you look so in control. <laughs> All right, guys. So again, two seconds on the way down, two seconds on the way up. Good, that's it. Draw those abs in, guys. Keep that back nice and flat, head in line. That's it, Dan. Don't go as low, just nice and steady. There? Yep, perfect. That's good. Feel a shake in the abs. Yeah, you will. So you're really stretching the abs at this angle, guys. Excellent, just a few more. Yeah. All right. It, yeah, did you get that in, in the abs as well? Really good exercise, I actually enjoyed that. There's no excuses not to do it. I mean, everyone's got a chair, right? Or everyone's yeah. got a step or a bed, so you can really do this exercise anywhere. Worst comes to the worst, you can do it on the floor. But I just thought I'd demonstrate it on here so it gets a bit of an incline movement. That's emphasizing the upper chest and shoulders. Right, on to the cans of paint. <laughs> All right. You can also do this with bottles of water as well. <laughs> I only use cans of paint. So what we're going to do is a weighted squat. Okay. All right, so when we come up, we're going to raise to the front. So we're going to go down. As we come up, we're going to lift one arm, working the shoulders. Come down, lift the other arm, and work the other shoulder. You're looking I very I worried. That. I had You're a little, looking little very worried. confusion there. But That's I think... all right, well, I'll take you for it. All right, so you're just going to do the squats like we did earlier. So yeah. arms to the side. You're going to drop down into the squat. Breathe in, come down. As you breathe out, lift one arm. Just one there. Arm. Yeah. You can lift two. You're, you're a stronger man than I am. <laughs> you can put it down. I'll put it down first. Yeah, that's it. So what yeah. we do then, yeah. you're going to breathe in. As you breathe out, lift up. Got it, yeah. Come down, breathe in, breathe out and lift up. So you're going to alternate each side, guys. All right, so let's try that again. Come up, lift the paint can down, come down to the other side and then raise the opposite arm. Good. And then squatting down. That's it. Really working your upper and lower body at the same time, guys. Real good calorie burn as you're recruiting a lot of muscle fibers in this movement. We've got a very serious oh, face. A funny there. <laughs> I'm back in track. You're back on track? Yeah. Good. Again, guys, all these movements, they're all new, pretty different. Obviously, it's not every day you do a squat with a can of paint, so it does take a little while to get used to. With a bit of luck, you'll pick it up a bit more quick. And Danny. I've got the rhythm going. <laughs> no, you've got it now. You, you've got the moves now, Dan. That's it. Okay, you do four more for me. So coming down, coming up, and one. Good, you got it now. 
down nice and low, up for two. That's it, and two more. Nice and low, knees over the toes, try and keep the weight through your heels. And last one. Oh, going up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and coming up. Yeah. Good, Danny, well done. Not a bad Great effort exercise. for your first attempt. Yeah. Yeah? It takes a bit of practice like anything new that you start. Of course it does. With. I mean, you can't expect it to walk in here and start, you know, juggling, phrasing paint. So the next one I'm going to get you to do, a bit more conventional. Okay. Okay? We're just going to do a bicep curl, guys. So nice and steady. Really isolating the front of your arm, the bicep muscle. Those of you who find that a little easy, you can go onto one leg and get the core muscles into play a little bit more as you're more off balance and continue to curl. Danny, I suggest we start with both feet on the ground to start oh, I think off that's with. a great idea. And uh, as your confidence slowly grows, as I hope it will, we can go onto one foot. All right. So both paint together? Yep, both okay. cans together this time. All right, so just going to come up, a little squeeze at the top, where you squeeze the biceps and then coming back down. Go for around about 10 repetitions, guys. A little squeeze. You feel that on the front of the guns? Definitely, yeah. Kid. That's it. Tell you what, Dan, let's have the left leg off the floor. I think so. I think, I think it's ready. time. I think you're ready. Okay, coming up, a little squeeze. Kid. Do two more, and then we're going to swap legs. Excellent. The concentration on his face, guys. I have to. <laughs> and changing legs. Brilliant, that's great. Well done, that's really good. Just okay. draw your belly button in slightly. It helps support and stabilise you. Yep. And let's go, let's go for the other side. We're we doing the leg. We are, yeah. A bit of symmetry involved. Okay. You're getting one leg bigger than the other. <laughs> and two more. Good, last one. That was great. Put the cans of paint down. Thank you. Okay guys, I'm going to show you an exercise now. It's really going to work the back muscles as well as the legs. So again, incorporating both upper and lower body. If you'd like to go into the lunge position, like so, we're going to bow forward and we're going to lift one can, put it down, then lift the other. I'm just going to show you that from the side as well. So, coming onto the back foot, onto the toes, lifting one can, then the other. Just holding at the top of the movement momentarily, and turning back down. Yeah, my turn. You're paying good attention to that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I reckon was. you're gonna you're gonna nail this one first, first time round. All right then. So spin him round, side on. I said just sort of bend forward for me. The chest lead. Yeah. That's it. And what you're gonna do? You're gonna lean this back. Keep your elbow tucked in as much as you can, and then place it down, and then go over to the other arm. Elbow in as close as it can be. Really feel that in here. Yeah. Good. Coming back down. All right. Let's go. Coming up. Squeezing. Oh yeah, I can really feel that in there. Yeah? That's it, pulling it back, good. And then the other one, so just pull back slightly, good. So really go back this way, guys, and feel that there. Okay, then you're going to do two more, and then you're going to change position with your feet. Hold it there, good. And last one, guys, and we're going to change over. Good, so changing legs. I'm going to go for another six to eight repetitions this side there. I reckon you're good for eight, you're shaping up so. pretty well. Yeah. Past master of this manoeuvre, that's it, lean forward. There you go, challenge it this time. Yeah, All right, yeah. cool, you get that in the legs as well, you guys. You do indeed. All right, let's go, rowing up, little hold, and coming back down and lifting the other arm up. And then a slight burn in that front leg. Yeah, definitely. That's it, if you're feeling too much, guys, in that position, you can come up a little bit more to take the load off the leg. I like it. But Danny does enjoy the burn, so we're going to keep him in this position, whether he wants to come up or not. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dan, and we have four more. That's it, really pull back, we squeeze the bicep, feel it there on the sides of the back, things with powerful muscles that run down the side. And last one. All right, and relax. Perfect. Good job. Feel okay? Very good. All right. Good. Dan, well, you've just done the home paraphernalia program. Thank good you very job, much. guys. I hope that gives you some food for thought for using some household appliances to work out with.